Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, Jen and I are back out on the harbour. What we're going to be doing today is going to be doing a bit of a uh, stray line sesh. Just going to set the burley, drop a few baits, and uh, see if we can pick up some snapper and maybe some gurnet or trevally. So we're just in the harbour today and um, sitting in about six metres. Came off a bank, nice bank, and uh, we've just anchored up drop the burley and we'll just see if we can um, hook into a few fish stray line sesh today so yeah hopefully yeah, get into a few fish so I'm just gonna set up our burley pretty basic burley today just got a um, big three kilo here just gonna put a few slits in the plastic We've got our bag that you get with the burley. But what I've got is a heavy duty bag, just so when you're pumping it, the bag doesn't break or anything like that, so it's more heavy duty. Close it in there. And I've got my homemade rope. Weights to get it down. About a 10 meter rope. We'll just drop that over the side. Now we're only in basically six meters of water today, so we'll let it hit the bottom. It's basically hit the bottom there. And I'll just pull it up about a meter off the uh, bottom there. And then every now and then I'll just crank it. And I'll just tie it off. And that's it, Burley's done. And every now and then I'll just crank it. Especially when the fish turn up, you wanna keep the fish here. So every now and then you just give it a good crank, keep the fish interested in this area. Nice little channel, so they'll just swim through this channel. Hopefully, and it's all ready to go. Hooked up to our first fish. And he's probably takeable, way takeable. He's probably about 34, 35. You can see him bleeding there. So we'll probably take him. up again to our second fish a little bit nicer feels like 
burley's just starting to kick in. Feels like a lot better than what I had last time. It's pretty much what we're after. Should be quite a few of this size around here in this little channel. And we do get bigger ones. It's a lot nicer fish. He's roughly up around 45, 46 centimetres. And that's pretty much what we're after today. So hopefully uh, get a few more and they should just start getting bigger and bigger as the evening rolls on. Beautiful fish. Just a little one this time, it feels like. He's smaller than the other one, but still takeable. He's roughly around 40 centimetres, that one. And we normally get some nice fish up around that 60, 70 centimetres here. But um, this is how they start. Get all the smaller fish just coming in and smashing the baits around and hopefully get the big ones thinking what's going on over there and hopefully come over and grab our baits, the bigger ones. But it hasn't started uh, too badly. A couple of nice little um, panties for the bin. Just done a little bit of a shift. Where we were, there was a lot of small fish, well, around that sort of 40 centimetres. Gonna try and find something a little bit bigger to take home. First bait, pretty much similar size, but we've only just got here, dropped the burly. Oh, not so much 40 centimetres, but small. And basically we're just using the little um, ball sinker straight to the hook for our stray lining. And I've just done a back-to-back -back uni to attach my um, leader to braid. And that's pretty much my rig. And you don't have to fish real heavy sinkers when you find yourself a little channel in the harbour, like most people do. And it's a lot of fun, just like light, light gears, light rods, light reels. That will, um, hopefully something bigger will turn up. Jen's hooked up to a nicer fish at last. There you go. Nice fish, that's what we're after. A couple of these bigger ones to take home. Just doing an evening stray line sesh. Jen's got the same rig basically, just got a little ball sinker straight down to the hook. Yeah, it's not a bad fish. Beautiful colours on him, golden. He'll be fat. So yeah, he'll go in the bin. And that's we've got about three or four now. So we'll just hopefully pick up a few. Just on an evening stray line sesh. So it's looking good. Jen's hooked up again to another nice little fish. There you go. Another nice little fish. Not the big ones that we're sort of after. Do get some bigger ones around here, but hey, it's still a nice 45 centimeter fish there. Perfect actually eating size. But yeah, hasn't been a uh, bad, bad avo. A few fish in the bin, getting the line wet, watching the sun go down. Nothing better. You'll notice the burly here isn't really moving. It's not much current. What's happening, we're only in two meters of water. The burly's just basically going straight down and the snapper are just sitting under the boat here. Don't have to actually cast. It's got a slight current running this way. But normally, um, when you've got a real strong current going, 
got to sort of cast down where the early's going, but he is pretty much just sifting straight down there. We're dropping bait down here. Rod just buckles over, hook up. They've taken my bait, and you can see I've just pulled my line out of the water that was on the bottom. So it's basically the bottom. I don't even have to uh, wind my line to get my hook back up to me. That's how shallow it is. It's only about a meter, meter and a half. Jen's hooked up to another nice little snapper there. Really starting to come on the bite now. Let's watch that tip of the rod break. So you just got to be careful when you bring your fish in. You can see Jen's rod sort of gets quite horseshoe up the uh, end there it's point loading so put your rod back grab the fish goes like that it'll just snap especially when they're um, graphite rods yeah another nice little fish there we've got plenty in the bin so Jen's gonna just take the hook out of that one and we'll just release it and just like that pretty easy so what we'll do is just um, check out a uh, soft bait please have gone a bit soft so uh, we know there's a lot of fish here and around that burley just chucking a soft bait down once again and winding back to the boat getting grabs and bites as it's coming to the boat and it's not a bad fish There you go. He's got my soft bait in his mouth. You can see he's been chewing on it as I've been winding. He's been nibbling and then he grabbed it and I struck. And that's the uh, result. Nice little snap, we'll take him home. Well, pretty much gonna call it a day. Caught some nice fish here. Nothing huge. Got another nice little fish there. That's pretty much been the story of the evening. These fish roughly, roughly about 45, 48 centimetres. Real nice fish. Beautiful to eat. Eating size is easy to fillet. And these will just be real fat. So yeah, we'll take them home. That's pretty much it. We've got about I think seven or eight in the bin. Haven't even got a limit for one person, but that's all we need. We've got a couple of goodies in there, around that sort of 45, maybe up to 50. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Not as um, hectic as we uh, normally do, but you can't win them all. But we've had a uh, good evening stray lining in the shallows. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.